Okay, we are back at the supercharger. I figured that that is probably long enough intro, uh, well, a tour around here. I could, oh, I could drive even further around <laughs> because we've been living in so many different places in Moirana, but it's long enough tour. So I went back here to get, to just top a little bit, reset the, the since last charge and then go to the restroom. So man, look, look at this. We are still a little bit south of Arctic Circle and it's almost midnight. So if you guys want to experience nice Norwegian summers, you better come around here. Well, I'm, I'm around now and yeah, around July, between June and August really, roughly, you see the long days and long nights now. So anyway, let's uh, head back home. Well, so I don't know what happened. We just ended up with 97%, probably because of the pizza eating. But with 97%, the car claims that we can drive 444 kilometers to Shurdal and arrive at 18%. Well, I probably want to stop before that, but okay, let's just start heading south and see <laughs> where we stop then. We are now at Circle K Namskogan and I just have to stop here to clean the windscreen. It's, uh, what's the time now? I think it's two at night. Yeah, two at night. We've been driving for two hours and it's just full of bugs. So, and I'm going to stop here to pee in the bush somewhere. The gas station is closed. We have some people camping here and resting some trucks. So, but fortunately the cleaning stuff here is available. So, oh yeah. Remember to ABC. Oh, shit. now in Shordal and um, I just passed by the supercharger because uh, the car now estimate that I will have 2% if I go to Klatt. <laughs> I have 10% battery left and you see we've been averaging 147 watt hour kilometer. So yeah, we're gonna go for it. We're gonna YOLO it. Go for Klatt instead. <laughs> it's 5.11 in the morning now and the roads are just so empty almost no one here this is monday morning so wow yeah look at this you know what i say morgenstund har gulli mun which means uh morning time has gold in mouth <laughs> okay
right? We are finally at Clat. We came in with one, 1.5% what, 1 left. <laughs> Close enough. I wouldn't do it like, like this if it was winter or if I didn't have uh, scan my Tesla. But uh, over here, it's fine. Yeah. Let's see what kind of speed we get. Hmm. Okay, we are at 5% and it's still going slow. So I suspect that there might be something wrong with the stall. So um, this is the 2B stall. Okay, let's change stall and see if that helps. Well, now it's working. You see, 120, oh, okay, only 104, but that doesn't matter. We want to eat anyway. I need to clean the windscreen. So we are now a little bit, uh, yeah, we have lots of other stalls here. Fortunately, on this side, we have plenty of stalls. So, okay, uh, clean windscreen, eat uh, and relax a bit. Okay, we, we charge uh, enough, I guess, 77%. And the plan is to go all the way to Elverum now. We are the uh, well, the detour or the shortcut uh, via Okerström. So and navigation once we take that route, but this one is actually faster, 10 minutes faster and 8 minutes shorter. So uh, I'm pretty confident. I checked a bit of route planner. A bit of route planner uh, estimates that we need 69%. So which means if we charge about 80% or 77, then plenty. We are now in Övre Rendal. This is in the middle of the, I don't know, the new valley I just discovered. And you see, we had to drive on the gravel road. And then suddenly here, we have two 75 kilowatt fast chargers. These are supposedly only 75, what, huh? Delta chargers, well, let's see. Whoa! So it's, it's either 75 kilowatt to one car or I didn't even know that the Delta chart can, ch and can split it like this. So, <laughs> I mean, I wanted to check this out in case I want to come back here. Yeah, okay, okay. Huh, really? Okay, so but at least we have 75 kilowatt chargers here. <laughs> yeah, I might need them one time in the future. So, uh, but okay, let's uh, keep going. Yeah, I don't need to charge here, fortunately. We are now at the supercharger in Elverum. Okay, wow, these distances we drive, <laughs> 335 kilometers, well, yeah. You know, if I wanted to, I could probably, nah, probably not, okay, whatever. But yeah, we're getting 128 kilowatt, no problem. Um, now, normally I would just go straight home to Oslo, but I'm going to do a little test here at Nebenes. Uh, I will redo the range test because I suspect that uh, I will get better result today given these weather conditions, but that will be covered in the ranges video So we're actually going to drive only to Demides and then we do a little uh, test over there Yeah, so 9% oh, really I need only 15% to go to Demides oh, You sure about that? Okay, I guess so. Okay, so I think I need around 50-60% only Yeah, but still regular stuff eat go to the restroom <laughs> Yeah, I mean, you might be thinking, you, you, all you do is just eat all the time. Well, you know, it was, let me see, I had that, I bought that pizza 10 in the evening last night. So it's been almost 13 hours now since I bought that pizza. So over 13 hours, 
you kind of need to eat a little bit <laughs> when you're traveling <laughs> so you don't get the same impression of time when you watch this video uh, yeah because it, it actually took a lot of time to get here just just to show you that we are here now in Elvirum and uh, if you can't this you can the show yeah see we are here and we started Moirana is here I think yeah you see that's pretty far away uh, well actually how far away are we uh, it, we should be around 800 and something 850 no wait, I think around 800 kilometers away let me check here 820 it should be calculating real hard still calculating <laughs> there 829 kilometers away yeah <laughs> mm. yesterday's pizza still good mm -mm -mm. back home in Oslo man what a trip so this was actually quite interesting trip because you know I've done this trip before with model 3 that was MC Hammer my model 3 performance but back then that was actually the second trip I took to the Arctic Circle and I didn't really put too much effort into making it well, how many just making it good so uh, it was tw 12 and a half hours and I didn't even know about the shortcut uh, we had at Oculus Valley so um, that's why I wanted to do it again properly this time and see uh, really unleash the potential of the Tesla and since then we've been getting uh, the supercharger in Brakbasar V3 supercharger that also helps big time but I think actually if I would try today to do it with MC Hammer I would still be able to do it within around 12 hours or maybe a little bit faster than 12 hours but uh, yeah maybe 12 or maybe 11.45 but I'm not sure if I'll do it in 11 uh, 30 because this car simply is a beast yeah beast mode on because it has so much range it's super efficient even at night it just heats down and stuff it has the octo valve it has slightly bigger battery than the old one so man what should I say Tesla is really the best car if you want to travel far and even in areas where you don't have high power chargers in other networks you still have supercharger that will carry you through all the way to North Cape for example so yeah very interesting very impressive i think that's gonna be it for now hope you guys enjoyed this video as always thank you for watching and talk to you later